first of all, yeah, yeah uh, it is a film that deals with two kinds of depression. You know, the uh, chemical depression, uh, the type of depression that can't be cured with talk therapy or with uh, a pill uh, or any kind of quick fix yoga solution. Um, you know, Walter Black needs help. And um, uh, it's a very dire situation and very different than the kind of depression that many of us encounter every single day. Uh, uh, but, but the film has talks about that as well, which is you know sadness and tragedy are part of our lives as much as the comedy of our life is. And as you get older, it gets heavier and heavier. And you know what do you do with all that stuff? What do you do with uh, missing people that are dead and all the little things that don't make any sense and that are unfair and global warming and you know uh, the, 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 honestly the the sadness of modern life. And um, I think the film has an answer for that. You know. Uh, I think articulately talked about in the last act. Um, and it, you know, if it makes anybody feel better without romanticizing depression in any way, I feel that the artistic creative impulse is very hard to uh, uh, figure out where, where depression starts and the creative impulse ends. Uh, because you know, we, what I do for a living is to obsessively ruminate on difficult things over and over and over again so that I can get through them and come up with solutions, real emotional solutions for them. So I, I believe that sadness is a, a huge part of my life and um, I've made a lot of money on sadness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the voice of the beaver. Uh, yeah, it was written like that. It was crazy. It was, uh, I think, uh, it was very important that Walter, we really understand that Walter was trying to disassociate himself from himself and that he had to create this alter ego or this character who was nothing like him. So he wanted to create somebody who was blue collar, because he wasn't, uh, who, had, who was blunt and had answers for everything, which he didn't, who was in some ways detached and not particularly emotional. Um, somebody who was vital. And, and uh, was really loved life and um, could, could inspire people in that way. All the things that Walter's not. And so we decided he should sound like, you know, Michael Caine, only faster. 